So thanks so much for that. On the Health Watch Now this morning, a birth control pill for men could soon be tested in men. University of Minnesota researchers say the pill was effective at blocking 99% of pregnancies when tested on mice. Joining us now to talk more about this is one of the researchers and professor at the University of Minnesota, Gunda Guerra. Good morning to you. It is good to see you. How are you? Oh, good morning to you too. I'm great. Thank you. It's early morning for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that. Yes, it is early morning for you, but we are so glad you're here with us this morning because I find this so fascinating. A birth control pill for men. How does this male pill work and are hormones affected? Uh, so no, you see, that's what we have been working on for a long time to develop a male um, contraceptive agent that is not dependent on hormones. And so we are having a, um, a new compound uh, that we call uh, YCT529 uh, that um, works by uh, reducing sperm count in men without interfering with any uh, of, of the hormonal homeostasis in men. And so we, we hope that um, this would be uh, not only effective or reversible, but also very safe to take. And uh, we are going hopefully um, into the clinic uh, by the end of the year or beginning of next year. And at this point in time, the, the company that's actually doing this work uh, now, um, Your Choice Therapeutics, they are preparing all the documentation that's needed to go to the Food and Drug Administration to get clearance for the first phase one clinical trial with uh, 80 men. So would there be side effects uh, to this uh, male birth control pill? And would men have to take the same way we women do, right? You've got to take it for your 28 days or whatever it is, and then you're off. Would it be taken the exact same way? Yeah, so it would uh, be a once a day um, dose, um, and there would be no break. Uh, you would no have break. to okay. uh, take it all the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'd have to take that all the time. What about the reverse, right? If a man wants to have a baby, because obviously for women, if we want to have a baby, we get off the pill so that we can become pregnant. Would the same be true of men? Yes. That's what the animal studies have shown us. Uh, we have not only, um, or, and we're collaborating, our collaborators have tested um, uh, this in mice. And so that's uh, beautiful. Um, you know, uh, I guess the mice become infertile. We discontinue the drug treatment and the fertility comes fully back. And so we're right now in uh, monkeys and the monkeys also uh, have reduced sperm count. And now we're looking at, you know, I guess the recovery as well. So everything so far looks good. And uh, we have not seen any uh, side effects, you know, at, in these trials with the mice or with the monkeys to indicate that we will have major side effects, but only a clinical trial will really tell how well it's going to be tolerated. But to tell you the truth, uh, the bar is very high, yeah. you know, to develop a contraceptive agent because we're not treating a disease. And if it is ever approved by the FDA, the question then becomes, will men actually take the pill? So you've got that part of it as well. But we certainly appreciate you joining us this morning to explain it. Thank you so much. My pleasure.